Um, I'm very happy tonight on the George On Deck Show to welcome back a guest by popular demand, a successful businessman from Peekskill and my friend Michael Kabashi. Yeah. Michael, how was Easter for you? Yes, it was excellent. Was Easter. Yeah, it was That's excellent. a good eating holiday. Uh, it's a good soul searching holiday. Yes. It's a good holiday for family gathering. Yes. And it's a good holiday to be in touch with the Lord. With and the remember Lord, with all that he has sacrificed for us. And with God, all yes. things are possible. Absolutely. Right? Everything is I possible. I understand you recently took a vacation to the islands because you're such a hard-working man all year long. Yeah, I, I you did. You got a few days away, right? Where'd yes. you go, Michael? I, I got three days out of Aruba. It was Aruba. excellent. It was Aruba. memorable. But I assure you one thing. What? The entire time I was there, every uh -huh. sightseeing I went, all I thought was about Natalie Holloway. Yeah, God, God is my witness. And I said to myself, is this some kind of calling? Is this something that I should look into it? Because Now, I who drove is Natalie to Holloway, a famous TV actress? No, Natalie Holloway was a teenager a few years back from Alabama or oh. I'm not sure which state. Uh, and I, I ask for forgiveness for forgetting that. But she went to Aruba with uh, classmates and uh, she disappeared. She has never been found. Her, wow. her, her, her wow. actual body has never been found. Wow. Now the person that uh, was accused of committing the crime, he's serving time on Lima. I think I remember South that yes. case now. I, I could not get that girl off my mind. Every corner I looked, the landscape, I would say, where would this guy, why? Why would this guy do and go to the extent that he's gone to hurt the family. I mean, the, the pain is already done, but y at some point you have to end the pain for the parents. Can you believe that such an evil person exists in the world to make somebody disappear? Who's, she was on a vacation, yes. wasn't she? I remember yes. that case. Yes. I right? never forget. And uh, I remember uh, Martha Van Grant's Van Sustern. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Greta. Greta. Greta Van Greta, Susten. Greta, yeah. correct. Uh, she covered that story for a long time, and then right. her mom, she did the very best uh, to the fullest extent to find out the faith, and, and it has never been brought up to light. There's been many speculations and so, but it, that did occupy my mind, and I said to myself, I'm, uh, I found myself saying, one person could cause so much havoc. Uh, it, it's, 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 it's occupying my mind. Well, look what Lee R.V. Hoswald caused with the President of the United States. He was a nothing, a nobody, a sharpshooter from the Army who was, I don't know if he was drummed out, and he changed the course of history. Yeah. And I know people who cried for a week, Irish Catholic people, because he was the first Irish Catholic it, president. It, it, it was a tremendous loss. It was a loss then for, his brother. For, for humanity. Yes. Now, never mind just Americans. You know, this was the president. For the world. This was the president that was tested the first time on atomic power. And both sides behind the scenes were pushing for it to light up. And he was strong enough and smart enough and kind enough not to let it happen. And how about him and Jackie in Berlin, Ein Mein Berliner? He's, they were speaking German, and the people really took that in. And she was some first lady. Yes, you know. she definitely was. Yes. But we're here tonight to talk about you, your success. I hear Nona's is still booming. Um, what do you attribute to all that success? Is it, is it in the sauce? Is it in the cheese? Or is it in the help you have, Michael? Many people have called me, said they enjoyed our first show, and they want to know why this Michael is such a success at the Beat Shop and Center in Pizza, where other people have failed. The, attrib the attribute to it is simple. It's the people around us. It's the actual patrons. It's actual customers. They, they like what we do, and we, we, we strive for excellence. We strive for, for everyone's satisfaction. You're not going to get that always, but no one should stop trying. And that's what we do, whether it's the food, the food improvements, the change of the taste of people from, from time to time. It just changes. You don't even notice, but you desire, you crave different flavors, you crave different things. And that's something I work on it all the time. It has to be done. You have to go with the time. You have to hear people. You have to listen what, what they're looking for, what, 
their likes are, what their dislikes are. And a combination of everything, pretty much. But the staff, it's it's excellent. Oh, Catherine staff. Catherine Volner, Cat, she's she's just she's just one of a kind. She's the sweetest thing possible. And all your waitresses yes, are very yes, nice. Your yes, waiters, yes. they're so polite. When yes. I come in, they call me Mister On Deck. I says, "Knock that off." I'm no, George. you should. You but should be referred to. People. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's I, I'm blessed. Truly, I'm blessed having great. But you're blessed around. also because you give back to the community through the profits in your business. Yes. And uh, as example, what you did during December for the victims of Puerto Rico and the hurricane uh, uh, victims of Florida and Texas, I believe. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I think everyone that, that has success, I think everyone should give back. I, I, I don't consider myself successful, George. I really don't. It's, it's, it's a life. It's a life, but a I do. Man. I do take pride on what I do to the fullest extent. If I'm going to serve you something, I'm not going to look to serve you with a less of a quality. It has to be 100% extra virgin olive oil, or it has to be the best chicken, or it has to be the best cheese. Otherwise, I will not purchase it. So when you put these. And that's together. what makes coming people come back too. If they taste something and it's yes, but above the average. If they go in ten other Ita Italian yes. slash Albanian restaurants, and everything tastes the same, but you go in another place and it tastes better, that's where you're going to go back. I have to give a lot of credit also to my brother-in-law Johnny Caputo. Uh huh. Uh, he's 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 my my, my bro. He's my best Good buddy. Guy. And, uh, Good guy. Good guy. He did it again. Yeah. What last year, now? last year he won price number one for the best bike show. Best uh, bike show. Yes, he, yes. He rides a bike. Yes. Oh, okay. And he owns a pizzeria, but that's his passion. That's Those your are his brother both passions. My brother Caputo, in law. That yes. sounds Italian. Yes. Yeah. And your wife's is. Italian. Yes. So Hundred percent. Yes. Flavor in your yes. Pizza yes. There. Well, it comes from there, obviously. Uh -huh. uh, and he did it again, and I was so proud of him. He what won he again. There was over 300,000 bikes in Daytona, Florida. Wow. And he won number one. Wow. For his build of his motorcycle. Wow. The way he built it. Hmm. It was amazing. That is it amazing. really was. So you have more than one brother or just one brother? You have no, a that's sister, only Michael? one brother-in-law, yes. I have two brothers of mine. That's my brother-in-law. And I have four sisters. And if people remember from our previous show, we both come from humble beginnings. And, yes. Uh, you've made a success in America, yes. a success in America by working hard and by treating people fairly. Fairly? No. You told me you put you in... You have to respect everyone to the fullest extent, regardless of the circumstances. Even if someone is having a bad day, George, well, let them have that bad day, that bad minute, because you don't know where it's coming from. If they need to vent, let them vent, because they need it. It's it's it's. Life is stressful, I assure you. Many people, if they took the time, a lot of the stress will go away just by analyzing it yourself. There are certain things that we stress about that, that are pointless. Michael, what's your future? Uh, are you just going to stay with this Italian restaurant, Italian slash Albanian restaurant? I'll call it a restaurant. George, I want to go in business with you, man. With me? <laughs> well, well, I want, when business? I grow up, I want to be like you. I always love to make a pie. My biggest of course. pleasure is making a pie. Every second of it is I'm making. I'm thinking about that person that's going to receive that pie. That's how I feel. Wow. Believe me when so I tell you. So you make it with love. Is that every it? second of the way, when I spread the sauce, when I put the cheese, when I put it in the oven, it's all about that person that's going to get it. And that comes from your beginnings yes. when you worked with your wife 16 hours a day, yes. seven days a week in yes. the Bronx, as I remember. Oh, no, uh, For with the wife, I worked in Westbrook. Just a couple hundred dollars I yes. heard a week. Yes, that was by myself. That working was by myself. about 100 hours a week, too. And, and well, six days, three times hours. 14, 15 on a weekdays, and then 16, 17 on a weekend. Yeah, obviously it works out to and do then that. Then three hours traveling on subways on and a, buses. On buses, yeah. See, I, I didn't forget. Buses, from our first yeah. show. Um, I, I, 
Even your advertising is unique, Michael. Uh, we got something in the mail from you yesterday, a flyer with all the food, all the prices, but it had a big bunny rabbit on it. And it cheers people up when they see it. It's I not love, just run of the mill. I love to specify and give the respect at, at every holiday to the fullest extent, extent that I can. Uh, the years and years, I, I'm used to hearing people saying, well, you should say happy holidays and not no. Merry Christmas oh. or not happy Hanukkah. Or Political so. correct well, you're talking about. I'm sorry, but, you know, if, if it is a Hanukkah, I would love to say happy Mike, Hanukkah. Let me shake your hands. Thank you. I agree with you. Thank you. And if it is Christmas, say Merry Christmas. And, you yeah. know, if you have an issue with it, well, don't say you know, anything. No one is, is telling you to say it, but... I, I prefer my, my, my freedom of choice right. on how I want to say it and greet people. And, and, and the way I feel is that it should be Christmas every day. Right. Really. Giving. Yes. Giving. Living, giving, and enjoying and having that, that, that cheerful spirit in you that lifts you up. For example, this weekend was both Hanukkah and Easter. Yes. And somebody said to me, happy holiday. I says, no, I'm Roman Catholic. You can say happy Easter, Easter. to me, and if but you if are, you're Jewish, you, happy Hanukkah absolutely. to you. But you should not. I, I would never buy an Xmas tree, by the way. I saw up on Route 6 for yeah. Christmas an Xmas tree. That's taking Christ out of Christmas, in my opinion. Well, uh, for centuries, many people have been trying to take Christ out of a lot of things. But really? You and can't. You, and you can't. Thing People could try, but... A it, moving it, thing about you is you believe in God, and with God all things are possible. 100%. That's the only way. And I strongly believe that if you really, really believe in God, truly believe, open your heart and spirit to it, a lot of goods come. A lot of peace of mind, most importantly. That comes alone. But you really have to be committed. You really have to be... Uh, Dedicated, you have to really believe, regardless of what the surrounding is or the moment is, when you reach out to the Lord, you should reach out fully. You should be completely, completely oriented. And in I heaven. know in the past you've given handsomely to churches. Uh, yes. Holy I still Spirit, I still Assumption recently. Yes. Um, uh, St. Dennis up uh, in Dutchess County. Yes, right, yes. Right, um, uh, church is a... They're uh, doing God's work. Church. church is a house of God. First of all, house of Lord. And um, throughout the years, we all know that church does a lot of good for needy. They really do. Yes. They take people in. They bring them foods. They take mm -hmm. care of them, the sick. And they do more things that we don't see than the actual things that we do see. Right. So that's always a good, good place to, to and do. And Michael, it. you're living in America. We talk about this before the show started. I always have an American flag behind me. What I do you think it. of that flag? <laughs> I love it. I'll kiss that too, Michael. I love it. George. And I it's, almost uh, died for it, as you well know in Vietnam. Well, yes, and I am, that's, that's what draws me even closer to you. Really? Absolutely. Absolutely. Look, there's a difference. Me coming from another world, I know two or three different worlds. Mm -hmm. Now, there are a lot of things in America and Americans that are so unique, like our closeness with one another, our willingness to stand up for, for the weak or the ones that are being attacked, defenseless. Uh, that's one thing that lives in us, in, in, in this in American society and community, and American citizens lives strongly. Now, there's always exceptions. Yes. Don't misunderstand. <laughs> but that lives. Now, when I go back to Kosovo, for that matter, I love my flag. I of love course. my Albanian eagle, no question about it. But there's Ramos Haradina and there's <laughs> other people that put a little, little dent into the patriotism and the feeling that you feel because it's like it's not about, it's not that they're not patriotic, they're just more about other things. And patriotic becomes as a secondary thing. I think. Uh, and is there more of a caste or authoritative? type of system where the way you rise up in America if you work hard, can you no, do not that? There. No, not there. And no, not there. I'm sorry. So I, there, you could live, you could exist, but if you start to move, start to move up a bit, you're definitely going to get visits. Uh, unwanted, visits. Unwanted <laughs> visits, George, yes. 
I mean, uh, for Ramos Ayadina, we did so much as a family. Uh, me, personally, I put my, my life in hold for about six years. Uh, Carla Del Ponte, she was the head uh, chief uh, criminal investigation for war crime tribunes happening in former Yugoslavia. And uh, for some reason, she wanted to make, uh, to even the score. So she was looking to put Ramush Hayadina on a level of Milosevic or others that committed crimes against humanity, and she wanted to level the field. Now, I'm not saying Ramush Hayadina is a great man or doesn't have faults or mistakes, but you cannot compare him with, with these people. You cannot level the field. And that's where we stood up and we, we, we basically did our part in saying, look, you know, if you have something specific, you could go for it, but you cannot use my family or, or, or people from the community to even the score because on a world view, you want it to be an even score. It's not a, the aggressor and the defender, they're not on an even level. Right. They, they can't possibly be. And that's what she was striving to do. You had such authoritative leaders that they would put people in concentration camps. I in, heard in that. Kosovo? So, yeah, this was when the Serbs were, were, yeah, were, were yeah. in power. Now yeah. with the Albanians, no. Uh, they don't, but you know what? Uh, after the war, there was more people that now, got which killed. which war was this? The, the, the United States intervened. And, uh, was that 1996? 1999, no, March uh, 17th, if I'm yeah, not mistaken, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bill Clinton bombed for literally 37 days or 70 somewhat days until they finally sign an accord where, you know, the, the people of Kosovo will get the freedom. That was good. And, that, yeah. that, was, that was good. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, like I said, without the United States, many minorities uh, throughout the world will be completely eliminated if the United States doesn't step in, like the Yazidis in, in Iraq, you know, the, 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 the uh, Muslim state or whatever you call the Islamic you know, state. You know how I feel about a country? A country is only as good as the poorest people they help. Uh, I'm going to give you an example, Vietnam Creed. No man stands as tall when he bends to help his fellow fallen soldier. What do you think about that one? One hundred percent. The standing part is not your body, the way it stands or it's looked at. But it's what you do with it. down on the ground and yes. you pick that's when you still like that's Mother, when you stand like Mother Teresa. You know uh, about God, Mother Teresa? God, God bless her. God Did bless she have her. something to do with your country? Or? She is from, she's oh, Albanian. I know that. Yeah, she's from, from, she's about four hours away from where I grew up. That's where she grew up in a different generation. Um, she is a, a, a proud, I am proud of her as a saint um, with the things that she did in Calcutta and, and all around the world. She, she actually brought up the issue of, of, of the dying. Michael, I'm hearing of many Albanians in northern Westchester. Are there many and they're going into businesses? I know some that are in the hairdressing business. And, and, and the, the, is there an organization in northern Westchester or Putnam or Orange County of Albanians, you know, a, a good organization? Like in Yonkers, where I'm from, there were a lot of Russian, Polish, and Czech people. So we had a Polish community center. And USAL, I was a member of USAL, the United Slavonian League. But I don't hear much of that up this way. You know. uh, the Albanians, the good Albanians, yeah. let me... And everybody, cause, cause in true, every nationality, true, true. we have all lemons. Absolutely, but uh, my belief is that they are very similar to American people. I'm talking the traditional Albanians. Yeah, they're, they're hardworking, yes, average Hardworking people. and absolutely willing and helpful and giving and forgiving. Forgiving is not a, a very easy thing to come to Albanians no. for some reason because really? it just goes, carries on for centuries and centuries and decades and yep, just yep, yep. never stops. But they are very similar because I know personally if, if I see anyone being bullied or picked at, regardless of what the circumstances are, I will stand up. And that's how many tend to do. And Americans, we, we all do that because now I, I, I refer to myself more as an American than Albanian. But regardless how many years I live here and what I do here, I still come from there. 
So again, what I like about you, you're in there pitching in with your workers. Well, I, I would, love that. For many years, I, I didn't know you were the boss there because you were I there don't be. at the hot oven, throwing up the pie in the air I, and I, cooking. I'd rather pie. have someone else do the boss part than me. I, I love to work. I love to work. I love to make a pie. I love to cook. I really do. I, uh -huh. I, I could cook every dish that is in my menu. I can make every pie that is in my menu. And you can and direct uh, the people. You got 30 or 40 it people works, working It works for excellent you. because they, I respect them to the fullest extent. So when I ask something of them, believe me, it gets delivered. They do it. Here's what amazes me, Michael. I only live up the hill from where your place is. I'll go down there 12, 1 o'clock in an afternoon, and the place will be full. Yeah, we're I mean, blessed. other restaurants are crying for business. Uh, we are blessed, like I said. The, 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 the you make it blessed. The people of the surrounding area, the patrons that we have, they are very generous, they are very kind, and they are, I, I really appreciate them so and much. And do you feel Pete's skill is on the rise? Uh, do you feel that you've made a good investment in Pete's skill when you opened your place 11 years ago? Well, and for I've the been future. In, I've been in Peekskill way before that. Re oh, right, yeah. I, I, right. Yeah, I started in Peekskill area in 2001, actually. You know my good friend Dominic Volpe. I yes, think you started yes, he's out a good with man. him. He's with Dominic's yes. uh, cleaners. Yes. Good yes. guy. Dominic, good, very good nice. family man. Good Absolutely. Catholic. Roman Absolutely. Catholic. I see him and his Absolutely. wife in church yes. quite a bit. Yes. Absolutely. I, I, I respect that man. I do. I do. He's a hard worker. Yes. Very, yes. very hard yes. worker. And he's gotten ahead through hard work. By and, all means. And By a very means. honest man, yes. too. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That's a very good quality, honesty in a person. Honesty, respect. Uh, integrity. Integrity, um, uh, religious, a yep, believer, yep, yep. all of the above, patriotic. And you get the respect of your workers when you're down in the pits with them, let's say down in the coal mines, chipping away at the coal. George is bad enough that people have to work. <laughs> you know, it's, it's yeah. work, it's work, we all have to do it. Yes. But if you make it harder for them, then, then you're just making it that much harder. You, you're technically, you're complicating things for yourself if you're complicating things for them. You know, it, it's a different story if someone doesn't get it. It's not for that field of business. You get to see. There are people that uh, have the will they will learn any new trade. But there are people that they're, they're, they want a job to get by, but they don't want to give the time into learning what they're doing, learning it to the to Do a you point. feel you want to help and give back to your country and help them rise in some way or get the word out more on people from Kosovo and people from your country? I tried. Ramo Shahadina, I tried. Uh, we helped him in many different ways. Who was he? I don't uh, he's a know. prime minister now. He is. He same. is a prime minister, sitting prime minister now. And uh, after all the help that he he received, he disre disregards the entire fact that the help did go to him. Does America help him under the current administration? Him in specific, I I or, don't know because your country. I'll your, be I'll your, be I'll be frank with you, George. After what uh, Ramos Hayadina, the, the behavior after the Tribune trial and court and everything, yeah. well, maybe. Uh, his behavior afterwards disappointed me to a fullest extent, to an extent mm -hmm. where I've, I, I don't want to be bothered anymore. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if this is what, what the next generations is going to be built on, on these kind of uh, behavior and 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 see, I don't know qualities. much about the politics of Albania. Well, it's not really I know, politics; it's more of a person. Thing. Males as well as females, I've never seen more beautiful people than come from Albania. I have oh, Czechoslovakian people are oh, the most thank beautiful, you. really. And Slovenia. I remember Czechoslovakian. Uh, have you ever been to Prague? I hear that's no. a beautiful city. No, I was in Budapest, though. Okay, someday you have to go to Prague we from will. when I hear from my grandparents and people. It's, it's beautiful. It's an All artistic, are old city, yes. beautiful. Yes. My cousin was married to a Czechoslovakian. Really? Yes. Oh. First time I met a Czechoslovakian in person. Yeah. Spent time was uh, 1989 in Austria, Vienna. In Austria. Yeah. yeah. What do you see? I know you want to help quite a bit in the community. I hear you want to do something for Pete Skill in the future and the youth of Pete Skill. Is that I, true, Michael? I really Maybe in see June or July or August. Yes, or? I really see positive signs and a, a, uh, 
good hope with the mayor that we have. Not and that the, the previous mayor was any less. Yeah. He was a great man, too. But uh, the new mayor, sitting mayor, I, I do see a lot of potentials. I think yeah. he's going to do a lot of good, and I would like to help. And I know uh, you care about the youth of Pete. Absolutely. Right? So maybe we could work on some kind of program absolutely. where we contribute to absolutely. the youth absolutely. of Pete. Absolutely. We are, I told you, we are going to do this. Uh, the only delay that has taken place till now, I, I, I discussed it with you prior to the show. It was the least situation with the place, and I believe I have it just about resolved now. Uh -huh. Once it's all said and done, definitely we got to get down, and we really got to work and hard. Some big news. I don't know if I should let it out. I won't let it out. Uh, but no, we may in time. In, in time, time. In time. Big yeah. news coming. I hope this is not the last time we see each yeah. other or get together. <laughs> so, so yes, we're, Michael. We're, we're going to report. Many times you've said, gotten mad at me. We we will be friends for life. You. I know. told you that. I think it is not going to be the last time we. I see great things in the future. Absolutely. I see a possible radio show you and oh, I will be doing that, together. That will be a good thing because... Uh, possibly uh, big time TV someday. You, you've got to reach for the stars if you want to hit the moon. What do you think of that, Michael? Well, by all means, it's the only way to live. You have to set your goals high, even regardless of who says around you they're high or unachievable or so and so. Yeah. No one should limit you to setting your goals up high. When somebody tells you, no, you can't do it, something, that's when you what really do you have say? to do it. <laughs> yes, yes, I can. Yes, that's oh, when sure. you really have to do it, 100%. Michael, yes. again, you're such an interesting guest and a good friend. I can't believe it. The time is running by. We got two minutes left in the show. What do you want to say to my vast audience before we wrap it up tonight? Uh, blessings come in different shapes and forms. Uh, there's always blessings around you. There's always signs around you. Don't try searching too much for it. It comes. But always be open-minded. Always be willing to get down and dirty and work hard. Me personally, I didn't have a voice up and I always knew America was great. I always knew the democracy and the freedom it's one of, one of a kind in, 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 in universe, in, in earth. But I didn't really know, I didn't have a voice. When I got my voice in this country was a few years back when I became a citizen. And once I became a citizen, I really truly got a voice. That day I was so emotional, I was crying. Reminds because me. I, I knew it's there, I just didn't know what it felt like. And when I got the taste of the actual feeling, it was, it, was, it was beautiful. And I'm going to help you continue that voice and to get it out to millions of people worldwide and throughout Westchester and Thank Putnam you, County. On Thank my you. Show. I'm Thank blessed you. to have you as a friend. And I'm blessed to have you, Michael. Continued you success. The show was sponsored by the Nona's uh, Family Restaurant and Beach Shopping Center Thank Peace Guild. Thanks, Thank you, Mike. George. Have a Great Mother's Day and Father's Day, which will be coming up. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll be doing things and for them. And you and I have to do something for vets, too, veterans. Yes. Definitely. Okay, Veterans Day. That's something, Day. Uh, Veterans Day. Uh, prior to Veterans Day, I want you to look into and see what, where can we help the most. And Memorial Day. Maybe. Absolutely. Okay. This has been the George On Deck Show. Michael Kabashi. Kabashi has been my guest. Continued success. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you all.